hard, hard and how you should say you you are sorry. When was the last time you felt guilty for guilty guilty for something you did? Maybe you make a mistake that hurt someone, or maybe you choose to do you choose to do the wrong thing out of anger or selfishness. Either way, a simple word "I'm sorry" can help you and others feel better. It's not always easy to admit you did wrong. In the short term, it can be painful, but you can't learn from your mistake without admitting them. <coughs> Apologizing is a key part of personal growth. Apologizing is also important for relationships. Refusing to apologize can break things apart, and relationships and create tension within families. But when you apologize, the other person knows that you understand their feeling. It helps to heal the hurt. You may feel that apologizing makes you look weak, but actually it shows that you have the strength to put others before yourself. In fact. After apologize, you may become closer to your friend than before. But even bef- even after you decided to apologize, you may not be sure how to do it. Here are some tips: Don't put off your apology. Say you are sorry once. As soon as you release, you should. Apologize in person. In person, if possible, show that you feel remorse and understand the other how the other persons feel. For example, you can say, "I'm sorry that I was late for our meeting. I should have." Kept track of the time better, or I'm sorry that I yelled at you. I feel terrible for embarrassing you like that. Don't make excuses or imply that the other person is the problem. So instead of Um, instead of I'm sorry for instead of saying instead of saying I'm sorry you felt upset about I what I was said. No, I said what I said. What I what I said. Saying I'm sorry for my hurtful comment. Commit to changing your behavior. Don't keep doing what you apologize for. If you do, the other person can doubt that you are truly sorry.、Mm. Apologize can be hard, but they are necessary for healthy relationship.